Simon the leper and the raising of Lazarus. This uh, basically happened one week before the uh, resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we know that Lazarus lived in Bethany, uh, just uh, pretty close to the Mount of Olives, not at all far from Jerusalem. And there were many times when Lazarus uh, had invited our Lord Jesus Christ and the, the disciples to dine there. Now, Simon the leper, Simonas Olepros, in the biblical figure who lived in Bethany, in the village in Judea, on the southeastern slope on the Mount of Olives. He's mentioned in the Gospels according to Matthew and Mark. These books tell of how Jesus made a visit to the house of Simon the leper at Bethany during the course of which a woman anoints the head of Jesus uh, with costly ointment. Bethany was also the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Not the head, but uh, he, she anointed the feet and uh, she uh, dabbed the oil from his feet she anointed his feet with myrrh and uh, then wiped his feet with her hair. And this was Mary Magdalene. Martha and Mary were the sisters of Lazarus. Now, biblical accounts, the, cause, the gospel uh, according to John, recounts an episode with many similarities. John reports that Jesus attended a dinner where Lazarus reclined at the table with Jesus and where Martha served the guests, according to John's Gospel. Jesus arrives in Bethany six days before Passover, and while there, a dinner was given in his honor. John does not say when or by whom the dinner was given, and according to John's Gospel, Mary anointed Jesus' uh, feet. Matthew and John report that Jesus is carried and other disciples of Jesus were in attendance and protested the costly anointing of Jesus. Uh, identification. Simon the leper is sometimes identified with um, Simon the Pharisee, Shimon ben Gamaliel, who's mentioned the Gospel of Luke, as the host of a meal during which the feet of Jesus are anointed by a penitent woman, here being Mary Magdalene, the sister of Lazarus. Because of some similarities, efforts have been made to reconcile the events and characters. Some scholars point out differences between the two events. An alternative explanation similarities is that in Luke 7, anointing and the anointing at Bethany happened with some of the same participants. Now, Simon the leper is also sometimes identified as the same person of Lazarus of Bethany because Matthew and Mark mention Simon while John mentions Lazarus, which in uh, Greek means coming off from uh, being um, uh, sleeping horizontal, okay? So um, that's from the Greek word. Now, uh, Lazarus and the parable, on the base of the parable, Lazarus depicted as a, a leper and due to a perceived con a coincidence. Now, medieval legend identifies Simon with Bishop Julian of Le Mans, but that's just a legend. But uh, Simon had leprosy, who had leprosy. In the Common English Bible, in Matthew 26, verse 6, we see this. Matthew 26, verse 6, when Jesus was at Bethany visiting the house of Simon who had leprosy. It's a difficult phrase to translate, apparently. The more traditional way of translating it is, while Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper. Sometimes they capitalize this uh, like it's a title. Other translations don't capitalize it, but it still seems to be just the way uh, it's known in public. Simon the leper, meaning Lazarus had leprosy. The NLT goes off a little different direction, saying, Meanwhile, Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simon, a man who had previously had leprosy. Well, maybe he had previously had it, but I don't think, he says here, I don't think that kind of detracts from the story that's being told. Update, I was just thinking about the NLT reading that Simon had previously had leprosy. Well, the fact that he had previously had it, it means that he doesn't have any more, right? That might give us the answers to questions. Maybe Simon was a man who had been healed by Jesus. But you know, from the Greek text, I can't find any evidence that Simon had been healed of leprosy or that he had previously had leprosy. What I see is leprous Simon, the leper named Simon. A new century version says this, Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simon who had a skin disease. 
Ew, sounds nasty, but baby is a good way to translate it. The HCSB gives us this. While Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simon, a man who had a serious skin disease. Okay, so we see the pattern here, don't we? The guy apparently had some kind of a skin disease, but enough that it was the way he was identified as a leper. And uh, the, if, now if the CEB said Jesus was at the house of Simon the leper, what would the reader think? That he was at some guy's house, period. But it was not just some guy's house. This guy had a serious skin disease. It was used to identify him, leprosy. And uh, this brings us to the question, does the fact that Simon had leprosy make him unclean? Now remember, at that time, if you had leprosy, you were separated from the society and you, were, you had to live in a uh, leper colony. I guess Simon, because of the fact that he was very rich, perhaps he was um, separated in some room or some uh, annex or wing of his house. Uh, could that be what, uh, what the case was? So it brings us the question, does the fact that Simon had leprosy make him unclean? Which we bet would be another reason for Jesus' enemies to criticize him because Jesus was eating with and even simply eating, uh, entering a place occupied by an unclean person, that is a person who had leprosy. And if this Simon currently had leprosy, why was he living in his own private home? Didn't lepers have to live in colonies apart from the general population? So this is um, this was a uh, some kind of a um, discussion I recently had with the priest in our church and we had a, a disagreement, uh, Simon the leper. And um, this, as we said before, is referred to in Matthew 26, verse 6. And again, I'll read it. Matthew 26, 6 to 13. Jesus anoints at Bethany. While Jesus anointed at Bethany. While Jesus was in Bethany, in, a home, in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table, when the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? And this perfume could have been sold at a high price, the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to him, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor will always be, you will have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, that she, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. So we said here, it starts with, while well, Jesus was in Bethany in the home of Simon the leper. So uh, this is uh, strange that uh, he was not, uh, Simon the leper, Lazarus that is, was not separated because of his uncleanliness due to leprosy. And uh, again, thank you for your support. I wish all of you a very special, blessed Easter season. God bless you all. And Christ is risen, truly risen. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.